Wakey, wakey, pet. <laughs> not feeling too well now, are we? I'm not surprised. I snuck a little belladonna into your drink last night at dinner. Did you really think you were going to get away with that little stunt you pulled? Without any form of punishment at all? You should be very aware of the fact that I am not a merciful queen once you've angered me. I have yet to decide. On one hand, I did enjoy you. I may even have come to like you. But on the other hand, you refuse to follow my rules. And I am not one for rule breakers, as I'm sure you are aware. <laughs> you should have thought about that before you tried to escape, help the rebellion, and get four of my men killed. This isn't the same as you refusing to sing for me, pet. This is unforgivable. And no matter what I decide to do with you, you shall never again see the light of day. Perhaps I'll let you meet my bull. Perhaps I'll let you live, trapped here for the rest of your pitiful life. Or perhaps I'll just forget about you utterly and completely. Let you rot in this cell. No food, no water, until you perish. Which one would you prefer? Ah, what a surprise. No answer. One of these days I do wish someone would actually take destiny into their own hands and choose their demise on their own. Let me have a good look at you. Hm. Such a waste. You would have been majestic by my side. The fact that you had to go and ruin it all, forcing me to do this, I will admit, it pains me. You are such a beauty. Your eyes, your nose, your hair. Your lips trembling with fear as you try to make out what I shall do to you. I truly wish I didn't have to do this. But can't you see you leave me no choice? Should I forgive you? It would make me look like a fool, weak. All respect and fear my subjects hold for me shall be lost. And then they might think they can just do whatever they wish without consequences. Worst of all, should I let you go unpunished? What is to stop you from doing the same thing again? You see my point, do you not? I knew you would understand. Hmm. I think I have come to a decision. I have decided to at least show you some mercy. You shall perish. However, not in the bull. It will be fast. You will barely feel a thing. Huh. <sighs> Do not cry, pet. You shall at last be reunited with your family. You should smile. Be happy. Would you do me the honor of having one last dance with you? I shall remove the chains so you may move more freely. Take my hand. Good. Now, just let me take the lead. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <sighs> I am truly sorry, Pet. I'm sorry it had to end this way. 
Do not fret, though. I shall be with you until you leave for the great beyond, holding you until your body is cold and empty. <laughs> How funny. Whoever would have thought the evil queen without a heart would fall for their pet. I believe I may actually have come to love you. Oh, I see you are growing weak. Lay down. Do not force your body. Let it relax. I would say I hope to see you in the afterlife, but I do not believe I will see you there. For someone like me, there is no chance I will go to the same place as someone as good as you. What? You're smiling. I suppose it is only fair. You are one clever pet, indeed. Escaping was never your goal, was it? Leave us. I said, leave us. <laughs> to be honest, I did not believe I would follow you to the afterlife quite so soon. How did you do it? Giving the rebels a way in. You clever little thing. I did not even once consider that as a weakness of mine. It is a great thing you did, sacrificing your own life to save hundreds more in the future. You knew I would execute every single one of those traitorous rebels, so you went ahead and gave them the upper hand on me, getting the ultimate revenge on me. I should be furious. Yet somehow that only makes me love you more. You don't have much time left now. I can see that. I believe you feel it too. Your strength leaving your body. It's getting harder and harder to stay awake. Perhaps the pain has mostly gone by now. I... I do not know if you are even still aware of my voice. You do not seem to react to it anymore. Though you are still breathing. Perhaps you will hang on for just long enough to see your captor meet her end. It would seem as though my soldiers cannot hold the rebels back. The worst part of this all is not how you betrayed me, or how I am about to meet my end in a matter of minutes by the sound of it, but that I will not get to hear your song one last time. Alas. That was not my destiny. Pet? And so it is over. I hope you found peace. I hope you find it in your heart to forgive me, wherever you are. Goodbye. <laughs>